In this video, you will learn about the basics of detailed forecast, model comparison, types of weather forecasts. Detailed forecast. When you open the windy.com app and tap on any location, a panel below will open with a detailed forecast. The timeline shows six days of the forecast for free users and newly up to 15 days for premium users. The default model in which the weather forecast is shown is ECMWF. The metrics, such as temperature or speed, are automatically set according to the location, and clicking a new location will update the forecast panel. Model Comparison To switch models, simply tap on a different one from this selection. If you want to compare multiple models, you can do so by tapping Compare. When you scroll to a particular hour, weather details from a selected model will be displayed. The models shown are based on the location you choose. The forecast updates every three hours, with an option for hourly viewing as a premium feature. Both local time and UTC are shown. Below are the icons indicating the current weather. The basic weather forecast includes temperature, rainfall measurements, wind, wind gusts, and wind direction. Types of weather forecasts. Let's explore the specialized forecasts and unique requirements of our users. The first option is Wave and Tide, which offers detailed information about oceanic conditions for waterside locations, including wave heights, periods, directions, and tidal forecasts. This feature particularly benefits surfers, sailors, and maritime enthusiasts. This section provides the wind speed, the direction the waves are coming from, the average wave height, the average swell height, the average tide height, and the intervals representing the time between successive waves. Of course, this forecast is unavailable for points that are not on the water. The wind shows the comparison of different models based on the wind's location, speed, and direction. Meteogram provides a detailed, time-based, graphical representation of weather forecasts for a specific location. This tool is invaluable for understanding how various meteorological parameters are expected to change over time, including clouds at different heights. It is great for exploring all the weather relevant to outdoor planning. Here is the projected temperature and dew point changes over time, measured 2 meters above the surface. The shaded area between them represents humidity levels. The air is humid if the temperature is close to the dew point. The air is dry if the difference between temperature and the dew point is higher. When the dew point matches the temperature, the relative humidity reaches 100%, indicating foggy conditions. Wind arrows depict the average wind direction and speed 10 meters above the surface. Wind gusts are also indicated, providing insights into potential short-term increases in wind speed. These gusts are the strongest winds in the last three hours, also at a 10-meter height. Precipitation, shown as bars, details the expected amount and type of precipitation, such as rain or snow. Different colors represent various precipitation types. Deep blue represents rain. Pink signifies convective rain, and light blue denotes snow. Gray shading illustrates cloud cover at different altitudes helping users anticipate overcast or clear conditions. This is calculated from relative humidity. The distribution of water in the atmosphere, the height in the mediogram is in pressure levels with approximate altitudes in meters and feet. A simple click can also change metrics. The airgram forecast on windy.com provides a vertical profile of the atmosphere at a specific location, displaying how weather parameters change with altitude over time. This tool is handy for activities like paragliding, aviation, and meteorology. Displayed colors represent the temperature at different altitude levels. Temperature values are shown in white figures. Altitude is expressed as pressure levels. The length of each barb indicates the speed of the wind. Long barb stands for 10 knots, and a short barb stands for 5 knots. A long shaft then indicates the wind direction. The shaft points to the direction from where the wind was blowing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.